Hello, my name is Denise Strickland. I'm the Family Consumer Science teacher at Dublin High School. I teach the Food Nutrition Wellness Pathway here at Dublin. Today, I have five groups of students who are competing at the Dublin High School Student Chefs Competition. The winner from here will be taken to the state and they will determine in January if they will go on to Macon in February to compete against other schools. Our judges today will be looking for taste, they'll be looking for appearance, and they'll also be looking for sanitation um, issues. So we hope that everyone enjoys what they're doing today and our judges are from our community. Hey, my name is Sequoia Larry. And my name is Kaleria Pringle. And we are the Choppers. Today we are going to cook a veggie grilled chicken. <laughs> veggie cabbage and grilled chicken. We plan on pan frying the chicken and pot cooking the cabbage. Hello, my name is Jarvis Jones. My name is Jalen Carter. And we are the Gridiron Grillers. We're going to be cooking chicken cordon bleu with uh, chicken breast, bacon, artichoke, and spinach dip, and uh, zucchini. Um, on top with a little oregano on the side. I'm Scariana Cannon and I'm Takayla Wright and, and we're, we're the Geek Cooking, Cooking Crew. Crew. Today we're going to do a Greek chicken with basil parmesan rice topped with tzatziki sauce and we're planning on pan searing the chicken, boiling the rice and then mixing our ingredients to top with the tzatziki sauce. Hi my name is Zanadia Carr. My name is Dakota Mix. And we're A to Z. Um, today we'll be cooking or preparing tostadas. We will be making guacamole, pico de gallo, and refried beans. We will also be cooking chicken and preparing it all together. Hi, my name is Derek Bonner. Hi, my name is Kinesia Lewis. And we're in a group called All, all Fired, Fired Up. Today, we're going to be making a fajita bowl. And the fajita bowl is gonna have Mexican rice, bell peppers and onions, chicken, corn, Top with cheese and cilantro. All right, I'm gonna count down from three, two, one. You may begin. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. You've got miles and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform. Day in and day out. Season after season. You're going to need a gravel built to mow the distance. Now at Myers Equipment and Supplies in Dublin. How do you have a copy of your? She she give it to you. Okay, she get it. Okay, we'll just go ahead. Ah, right, then on the back. Okay.
So what all did y'all put in your cabbage? We put hummus seeds, black pepper, and pepper. Just regular vinegar? I usually use another fork and kind of pull it. I'm using my fingers. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe like the vinegar maybe back it off a little bit. Just a little I mean it's not like crazy. Yeah. Did y'all maybe not measure or spill a little bit in there? Or? We put one cup of was that what the recipe was or so. um and it wasn't bad, but I just mean just a little it was just kind of strong or overpowered. The cabbage. It the cabbage. And listen, I'm not I don't like I ate another bite of it and I know my doing like two more and I'm on a diet. So it's good. I'm not saying it's not, it's good. It's just maybe just that little bit of tweak um, in there. And then I know I was walking around and she came, some of them came in to walk around later. Um, just some of the stuff I noticed like in general, um, who was, you were doing the cabbage? Who was doing the cabbage? You were doing the cabbage. So you had like that, that serrated almost like a bread knife doing the cabbage and you were like, so if you had one of those chef knives, you know, like a chopping knife, you'd have been, it'd just been easier for you to do. And then I think the pan got a little hot on the chicken, didn't it? So maybe turn the pan down to start off with. You can put that lid on there to keep the heat in there. And then at the end, if you want to get it brown, turn it up a little bit. It's just easier to do that at the end and get the outside too done. But it's, it's great, great flavor. And I'm gonna eat another bite of it because it's good. Um, and then the other thing, I don't know if I noticed this with y'all or not, but I, it seemed like almost every group um, with the chicken, once you do the prep, like they all left the, the, the raw cutting board there like while you started cooking. So once you prep that chicken and get chicken off of it, get it out of the way, because then every time you move across that, that's what cross contamination. Yeah. So and I know they'll bust y'all on there, you know, for that big time. So other than that, I thought it was good. All right. Yeah, I'll eat chicken. I just say this vinegar a little bit more seasoned. Okay. But chicken is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. chicken is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask Miss Denise for that recipe. That's how much I like it. We spiced it up. We spiced it up a little The holidays are a time for giving thanks. At Dublin Nissan, we're thankful every day that you trust us for the right vehicle at the right price. Now at Dublin Nissan, drive the Ultima Platinum for as low as $28,325. New used, drive home in a new ride for the holidays. Now at Dublin Nissan, drive the Rogue S for as low as $22,855. Sales, service, and satisfaction. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound-guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic, Medical Drive in Dublin. What's in team name? Grid Iron Grillers. <laughs> What's the name of your team? Grid Iron Grillers. Grid Iron Grillers. They're number five. Yeah, Grid Iron Grillers. And what did you make for us? We made some corn and blue. Okay. Chicken corn and blue. Denise, where's Mr. Strickland? 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 
The chicken's the USDA, right? Or what's the USDA? I'm, I'm sure, yeah, that would yeah. be a commodity or whatever, whatever that is. So what um, two vegetables do you have in there from? Uh, we, we have zucchini. And by day it is. And we have some warm bell peppers. Alright. Alright, come on, please say something. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it has two things in it too, so watch out. Okay. So what all do you have in the middle of chicken? Uh, uh, cream cheese? Um, we got cream cheese, bell peppers, zucchini. Um, what was the question again? Oh, uh, artichoke. Yeah, artichoke. Yeah, artichoke. Uh, how'd y'all do the, how'd y'all do the, um, onions? How'd y'all make that? The, um, like make stuffing. It, yeah, stuffing. I had y'all prepare that. Uh, we, we, we put all the ingredients in one bowl. We mix, we mix it together, and then we lay like we lay the we pound that chicken out, then we lay the ham on top of, it. then we lay the spinach out on top of, it. then we put some cheese on top of, it. so then we wrap it around and bake it. I would do. Uh, I don't know what the recipe said. I'd maybe saute those the bell peppers and all mm -hmm. with a little bit of like coconut oil or something. Yeah, because they're kind of crunchy. But it, you can't hardly cook them in the middle. It'll help you that middle get, or is that the recipe that, have you seen the recipe? Just that, like the bell peppers are like, just real, almost like raw. Just cause they were in, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, and just add that in there and then it's warm yeah. when it goes in the middle and then wrap it up. And, yeah, that would be pretty cool though. I can tell you, I can tell you I like it cause y'all don't eat that. Y'all don't eat that. The bacon's pretty good. The bacon around mm -hmm. is pretty good. Came straight from the bed, the JJ. <laughs> Only thing with your asparagus, I would maybe put that last because mm -hmm. it's a little cold. Yeah. So like. Yeah, we did asparagus you first. Did asparagus first. So I would, I would either try to do that last, or um, just wait to plate that last, mm -hmm. so it's not cold. Yeah. And also. With the asparagus, I would say like put some salt over it or something, maybe like some seasoning. Mm -hmm. We had to watch our salt. Yeah, watch our salt because yeah. we didn't want to have it too salty. Some people have high blood pressure. You know what I'm I didn't notice what she was talking about, about the bit. And it wasn't just y'all, like all the teams. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, one thing, were you cooking at your house for your family? Or like a restaurant, if y'all go to, to work for uh, Mr. Richard down at Company Supply or something? Mm -hmm. The goal, you want everything together at the mm -hmm. same time. So the asparagus takes the least amount of time to cook. Yes, so do that kind of last. Mm -hmm. And so when you get it down, you can time it so it's all. It's still warm too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then even plating it, you can leave that on the the thing. Even if you turn it, turn the heat off and just leave the lid on, it's going to stay warmer than yes, plating. And once you plate it and pull it out by itself, mm -hmm. you know it's it's like y'all on the football team. You got it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you get out there by yourself and you're exposed. So, yeah. but yeah. Um, did that. Uh, same thing I told the other team, like with like cross contamination. I saw a little bit of that with everybody. Like when you get done with your cutting board, prepping the chicken, 
it, it, get that in the sink whether you wash it or not. Get it in the sink so it's out of the way because then every time you come across that, you got a potential Some for germs and, and they'll bust off like hard for that on a competition. Yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, and then the same thing with that other group, start your heat a little bit lower. I think part of that's because you're trying to get that inside done. But if you start that heat a little bit lower, like mine's good. That one right there is probably more done on that side than you want. You can always turn that heat up at the end yeah, and brown we, it. Yeah, we start off like because trying to have it get done. Yeah. We got an hour and a half. Yeah. Which is another reason get that chicken going yeah. first uh, and do that. So. so who did the recipe? Who made it good? We, we came up with our own recipe. Like, we thought about cordon blue, like, we're going to do our own cordon blue. Yeah, so we thought of it. We thought of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't get in my place. Sure. Sure, wish I could try this one. <laughs> we know y'all can go in and eat that. Well, 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 you got to get the scooters. No, it's on the first one. Dang, why don't y'all sniff back on that? No. Oh, hell, that's why you had to say them. Okay, that's good. I'm good if y'all are good. Hell yeah, we're good. Let me finish my chicken. We got finish. Hey, my name is Chloe Zickley. I do paintings for the Angel Babies. I raised $2,040 last year, and that all went to charity to the Salvation Army. If you are interested in getting one, you can come to the Carlotta V. Stubblin right across from the Dairy Queen. Hey, how you doing, Eric Kate City? I'm good. Brad Grimes. I think I'm smelling some gas in my yard out here. All right, and what area are you smelling? It? Uh, over here in this area, the meter's on that side over there. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the meter and make sure it's not leaked there. Okay. And then we'll locate the line out and put down a couple holes just to check on the grind to make sure you don't have a leak. We'll check each corner of your house. Uh, if you could, just stay on the porch. Okay. If you think you have a gas leak, we're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call us at 478-277-5048. What's your team name? All fired up. What um, vegetables do y'all have from the list? In there? We have corn. We have corn. Onions. Parsley. Oh, no. Parsley's not on there, is it? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. We got... Is it the front and back? No, it's the front. We got corn onions. Bell pepper? No, no. It's some tomatoes. Is that tomato in there or bell pepper? It's tomato, yes. Okay. What is it? Avocado. So what do y'all call your recipe? We call our recipe a fajita bowl with the bank. <laughs> I like how y'all came in together. <laughs> <laughs> How's the presentation? How does it have the picture of the face? Oh, God, you know Derek. Mm -hmm. Is it brown rice? Yes. Did I do anything with the corn? We put, um, we just put black pepper in. Okay. 
I want her, like, I think. <clears throat> I love the chicken. I always said, like last year, I told him, I said, would I eat this again at my house? Mm -hmm. You know, for, so, like I'd fix this for my family. Now I do a lot of carbs, so I wouldn't do the rice and the, the corn. But, um, the chicken's got really good flavor. The rice, I know y'all are cutting back on your salt, but maybe think, is there something else you could maybe put in there? to give it a little bit of, of something. And then the corn, and I know it's the lunchroom, but the corn does kind of taste like you just yeah, turn just it out of the can. So just, I dare again, just do something, mm -hmm. you know, with it to give it a little bit more of its own, you know, flavor. Is this whole wheat rice or? It's brown. It's brown. It's brown. And you can never go wrong with like garlic powder or onion powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to cook, you know, cook carbs per se. You can't go wrong with garlic or onion powder mm -hmm. or cumin. You know, that's that's a that's a good something. And so far, no go in there and be like, he said our chicken's the best. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> They're all good. Y'all's has been as far as being done in the outside, like y'all y'all's temperature in y'all's pan was probably the most spot on. Because some of the other ones were it's like the pan was too hot. And I feel the bang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not bang. it's not crazy. It's not I mean, crazy, but I feel yeah. the bang. Uh-huh. I feel the bang. And I'll tell you just like the other group, you know, when you plate, make sure you do some things like you know, some things last because a little bit some of it is a little warm and some of it is cold. Mm -hmm. You know? So you I would not necessarily wait to the last minute to place your items, but really just kind of time it well enough where everything stays warm on the plate. And y'all, I think y'all did it. I was hitting the other ones, but y'all got y'all cut board out of the way. Once y'all got through with the raw chicken and just make sure if, if y'all go to the competition, that cross contaminant, that's probably the biggest thing they hit you on. We had clean cutting boards. Yeah. Both sides of the wash. Yeah. We used two different boards for the chicken. And yeah. The and some of the other ones, they just kind of like, they got through it and they left that cutting board there with that chicken juice on it the whole time. But, but yeah. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Really? I really did. Yeah, I really did. Thank y'all. Middle Georgia Mechanical Heating and Air is changing the game in home comfort. When you purchase a new qualifying carrier system, you'll receive a lifetime parts and labor warranty. That's zero in repairs for the life of the unit. With so many other worries that we have to deal with in life, your heating and air equipment should not be one of them. Keep peace in mind that if your equipment fails, you will be covered. So enjoy your home comfort worry-free. Call today to schedule an appointment at 275-4530 or check us out online at middlegeorgiamechanical.com. Friendly Gus has everything you need this football season. From our everyday value items like a $2.99 two-piece dark meat chicken snack or our fish pork chop three-piece dark or two-piece white meat snack for just $5.50. Friendly Gus caters. Order one of our 20, 40, or 60-piece chicken finger or wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Friendly Gus is your one-stop shop for tailgating parties. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus with locations throughout Middle Georgia. Shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson Street for additional tailgate items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. So what do y'all have? Y'all got, what on the list do y'all have in there? Um, the chicken is USDA. I think that's I'm gonna let you see if I'm making a big announcement. Okay, okay. 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 But I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna put a question mark on it because she may know. Alright, so what's the name of your We just put a question on it. What's the name of your of your group? Geek Cooking Crew. Get cooking crew. So what's the name of the dish? Greek chicken with basil parmesan rice. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
They did. They weren't on here, but I think there's some more. Okay. Maybe because that's just half the year. I like it. It's different. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, go ahead. Now you go ahead. Chicken. I put some nature seasoning of tabial salt and pepper. Okay. Just right. My yeah, my mm -hmm. <laughs> So the um y'all came up with a recipe. Mm -hmm. Um how'd y'all do the the sauce on top how'd y'all come up with that what was your process um i tried green right. chicken and i liked it and i thought it was a healthy alternative so i decided to do that and mainly it with greek chicken they served with tzatziki sauce so that's why i chose that okay so when y'all made that tzatziki sauce how did y'all make it though y'all just mix it up or? i mixed it up with the greek yogurt lemon juice, the dill, um, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. I'd say maybe a little more pepper. I know you're trying to watch the salt. Um, the rest of it was good. I, and I don't know, I don't know Greek food. And like in Greek food, and I also know y'all are one of the last groups to go, so it's been 20 minutes since y'all finished cooking. But like, if that sauce was warm on the top, but is Greek food, Denise, should that sauce be warm on the top or is it supposed to be kind of cool? I think that tzatziki sauce is a cool sauce. That's why I, I, that's why I didn't know, but it, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so, so yeah, and like I said, I know it, it sat there for 20 minutes too, so the whole the whole dish. But other than that, so I mean, I don't really knock y'all for any of like because the rice and the chicken are both a little, but it sat there for yeah. Just make sure with your rice, because I did get some tougher pieces of the rice. Just make sure you make sure it's cooked all the way through. And what'd you, know? you say in the thing? I had to redo it. Yeah, but because I was standing over there where y'all call it. Because the water. Yeah, get that water like really hot, hot. boiling before you drop that rice mm -hmm. in there, and it'll cook it. Because mm -hmm. brown rice cook it better. a little bit longer. It yeah. does because it's a tougher grain. And then, so like if you're, if you're competing, and we told one of the other teams this too, like you're trying to get everything together at the same time, whether it's Thanksgiving at your grandmama's or whatever, so you can get that water boiling. Like go ahead and get it boiling on the, and just leave it on your back eye and keep it warm while you're doing all the other stuff. And then when you get ready closer to doing the rice, you can kick it on up the boiling and dump it in there. That way, you know, you're trying to manage all this stuff, you know, together. And you, you got to be able to think, about a bunch of things at the same time instead of like all right my chicken's done <laughs> now i'm gonna start cooking the rice so let me get the water out and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's good, it's good. that's different it was very fresh uh-huh very fresh tasty. yeah thank you Dave. All right. hello i'm john martin physical therapist and athletic trainer from rehab advantage sports medicine i'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to some of our workshops here at rehab advantage We've been hosting workshops every three weeks, some for low back pain, shoulder pain, arthritis, and for balance and vertigo problems. 
And so feel free, we'd love to have you come. Or we'd love to share information with you about these injuries and how you can get well naturally from these things. And we just love to tell you more about it right here at Rehab Advantage. We usually have them hosted at 6 p.m. on Thursday evenings. So that does change sometimes, so be sure to look at our website or give us a call 478-275-1800. Jeff Shepard here at Roach Farm and Garden. Deer season is here. Come to see us at Roach Farm and Garden. We got all your deer hunt necessities. We carry five way, three way, harvest advantage, iron clay peas, wheats and oats, daikon radishes, a bruiser rye and big boss rye, buck forage and annual rye. We will make your food plots look right. We have all your supplies of deer feed, 17 and 24% protein, QDM and 4S. We even carry 4S draw in the block and bags. And when you get that deer, we've got something to cook him with, from grills to griddles to your deep fryers. You want clothes? We got a full line of Georgia boot, Rocky boot, and all the Carhartt that you could need. And for your pelletized grill, we have any flavor you need. We have ladder stands by Millennium and Amherstep, replacement seats, protein blocks, salt blocks, and attractants, and a full line of coolers. And don't forget to pick your supply up of voodoo while you're in there. It's at the counter. Don't forget, everything you need for deer season is right here at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Wrightsville and Dublin. A to Z. Come on. Miss Dakota. So, um, <laughs> so y'all have, I bet we can guess, USDA chicken. Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then you got tomatoes. Yes, sir. And, um, uh, some lettuce. Any beans? Is beans over there? Yeah, there's beans. Avocado. It's not on this list, but for definitely the lettuce and the tomato are in there. Art right, soup. What's the name of your dish? So how'd y'all come up with this recipe? Um, we were kind of going through a bunch of stuff, like trying to figure out, and we first would, were going to do like tacos or something like that, uh -huh. and then she suggested do something a little bit different which, uh, with the tostada, and so we went through, I, well, when I was here, we, I went through the internet, and I was like looking at, looking mm -hmm. at stuff, and I was like, Ooh, this could be great. I had tosada, I've had tosada since I was little there in all family. What do you say you're sticking with? Um garlic powder, um onion powder, salt, pepper, only a little bit of salt. And pepper, 
and then we also saute onions and mix in the chicken. Mix those into the It take over your the flavor of your chicken if you're not like you're not careful with it because they have such bold flavor. Yeah. And I think if you put it down first, because I was watching you you were making them, you did the guacamole and then this I think it was the sour cream, right? And then the refried beans were left. And so by the time you're with that third layer, the refried beans are the hardest thing to push out. So all the other stuff's kind of pushing again. But if you do it the other way, you can make it. It's easier to make it thinner on that, that crunchy tostada. And just kind of flip that order around. Yeah, and same thing. If you put the sour cream down first, it'll make your tostada actually really soggy. Mm -hmm. So I, I, would, I would put the bean first, some thin layer, and then do the avocado, and then put the sour cream on there. So that way, the, that uh, refried bean, that avocado can kind of mix together mm -hmm. just a little bit. Or you could do like the beans, the chicken, and then your guacamole mm -hmm. and sour cream, and then put your like pico de gallo on top with a thing, mm -hmm. and it'll help hold that stuff on. I feel like right now that'll fall off. So if you had that sour cream, it's kind of like a little, it'll bond it on there. But uh, I really, I really enjoy it. It's like the, it's real, we said that about one or the other, it's real fresh, like refreshing, like a real light lunch, it's not super heavy on you. So I like that. I would pick maybe like the chicken and give it a little bit more intense flavor. The flavor is good, but just so it kind of sticks out above, let it be the star of the, of the tostada, yeah. But yeah, I like it. So. I'm gonna get one more bite. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank y'all. All right, hi. We now have a winner for the 2019 Dublin High School Chef's, Student Chefs Competition. And the winner is the Gridiron Grillers. They prepared for the judges today a chicken cordon bleu stuffed with spinach artichoke dip. Their recipe will now be sent on to the state, and then we hope to hear back from them in. January as to whether or not we get to go to Macon. And congratulations to those boys.